In section 2.2, we talk about the limit of a function. So the idea of the limit is where the function, where does the function go if x approaches a certain value. So for example, let's draw a function. Okay, you have x and uh, uh, fx is a vertical one. So the function could be any curve, any line. So let's see, we have a function like that. And then let's choose a certain x value. Say I pick x equals a. You know, a is here. Now let's look at the x values, which are getting closer and closer to this a. Where does the value of the function go? So a is here. A is right here. This big solid circle that's a now you have two directions to go to a right you can go to a from this side or from that side okay so if you go from the left we call that x goes to a minus so this is x goes to a minus if you go to a from the right hand side that means x becomes smaller and smaller and uh, it's getting closer and closer to a, we call that x goes to a plus. Okay, minus is the left, plus is the right. Now, if x approaches a, that means if we follow this curve, right, from the left-hand side, and we are getting closer and closer to this vertical line, what about the value of the function? What about the value on the horizontal axis? And you can see that, right? If you're getting closer to this vertical line, and uh, the value of the function, okay, in the in the vertical direction, is getting closer to this L value. So we call that limit x goes to a minus because we are looking at um, the way that you go to a from the left hand side fx is equal to l now if you go from the right hand side that means limit x goes to a plus that's also equal to this l because we are looking at this direction All right if your x values get closer and closer to a from the right hand side, the value of the function is getting closer and closer to this horizontal line, which is L. So we have limit from the left and the limit from the right. Now, if both limits exist and they are equal, then we just say the limit x goes to a, fx is equal to l. Okay, because it's true from both directions. So you, you don't have to specify either it's a plus or a minus. So just write x goes to a. Okay, now, in a case like that, if you have a function which goes like this, so this is your a, right? And then you have this open circle. That means you are not at a, right? You don't take a value when x equals a. So you have this open circle. Open circle means this point is not there, right? It's, it's a cut. But when we talk about limit, okay, the x values are getting closer and closer, but then it's not equal to a. So it doesn't matter whether you have an open circle uh, at this location or not. So in that case, you know, l is still here. Okay, you still have limit x goes to a, fx is equal to l, right? Because from the left, you are going to this value. From the right, you also approach 
this value and uh, it's equal to l for both so you do have a limit okay even though you have this open circle now you can also define this function like that okay. you still have this open circle at a and uh, for a for f a we define that to be equal to some value right so this is f a so it's not on this curve it's either above or below the curve but that doesn't matter because when we talk about limit okay we only look at the x value in the neighborhood of this a right we are not looking at this a value so if you go from go to a from the left right you are getting closer to l if you go to uh, if x goes to a from the right you are getting closer to l so that means you still have this limit okay so you can see that if you have a, a open circle at this value or you have a value you know this function has a value at a but it's not on the curve right it's you know above or below but it doesn't matter we only look at the um, x value in the neighborhood of this a so in both cases they have limits okay it's equal to l now in this example let me see we have x all right fx now we have function which goes like that and you have another one goes like this and this is a so in that case if you if your x value approaches a from the left that means you are on the the bottom curve right so you have limit x goes to a minus is equal to this l1 right because you are on this this curve right here now if you do limit x goes to a plus and that's equal to the now we need to look at the curve on the top right because you need to do uh, your x value will be on this curve and the limit is equal to l2 so if your x approaches a from below the limit is l1 if your x approaches a from above the limit is l2 and l2 is not equal to l1 right l2 is higher so you don't have a limit if you have just say x goes to a the limit of x uh, the limit of f fx doesn't exist because you don't know which one you should take do we take l1 or l2 since we don't know then we just say uh, there's no uh, there's no limit right because uh, the limit from the left and the limit from the right are not equal so here's how you can check if a function has a limit as a uh, at a specific value so you might have limit x goes to a minus must be equal to the limit x goes to a plus right and both must exist and they must be equal to the same value and if that's the case you can just claim when x goes to a fx equals l right so uh, these two are equivalent either this one that means you have um, both one-sided limit or you have this overall limit so they are uh, equivalent that's um, um, the limit another um, case will be if the limit is equal to infinities for example if your function say this is a right and we draw this vertical line if your x value is getting closer to a from one side let's say from the left you are getting you are following this curve 
right? So if your x value approaches a, you just follow this curve, and you can see that the value of the function becomes larger and larger, okay? And it will blow up. So in that case, we say limit x goes to a minus is equal to positive infinity, right? Because when x gets closer and closer to a, the value becomes super large. Now, if you have another curve from the right-hand side, now the curve looks like that. That means if you if your x value approaches a from the right, that means you are doing you are following this curve in this direction, and x uh, x goes to a plus f x is equal to negative infinity because you are going all the way down, right? You, the value of the function can become arbitrarily negative. So this is positive one and this is a negative one. So and these cases are called vertical asymptote. This is like the the limit uh, which is either positive infinity or negative infinity. All right? So that's um, um, the concept about limit.